Alright, let's continue where we left off. And um, before we work on our vents, uh, this is actually 29 and a half inches this way and 50 inches off the ground. So what you want to do is just create a box here and determine where exactly it is. There we go. So make this 29 about 0.5 and then up the ground here Oops. make it 50 inches tall go to the front press F3 and then just line these up okay 29 select that and just pop it right in there. Okay. You can delete your temp objects there. Perspective F3 and now it's placed exactly where it's supposed to go. So um yes let's work on event. Let's go back to your front view, Alt B for the background, files and choose a vent. We will do this one. So file 120 or whatever. I'll name them. I think I already have. Press OK. Let it load and there we go. Um, let's see. OK. Box. Make a box. Give it a little bit of height. Go into perspective here just so we can see it move it out a bit. Okay, bring the height like so. Okay, convert to editable poly. Um, just like the interior polygon. And scale it in ever so slightly. Okay, next. How are we going to do this? Goes up. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to do some boolean booleans. So create a box about the same size. Okay. Um, convert it to an editable poly. Set these polys here, or these verts, and Gallman. Okay, next let's select um, this piece right here. And I believe I just scaled that. Alright, inset it um, a little bit and extrude inside just so it's very, very thin. When you pull back, um, I don't want to do it now. Yeah, there you go. You should get some elements like that. That's showing you that it's pretty much thin enough, but we will increase the size just a bit there. Okay, um, select this piece and make this thin. Alright, actually, make it thick, a little thicker, and bring this down. These are actually going to be at an angle, I believe. Yes, okay. We can rotate it downward like that. Okay, and sink it directly in there. It should come out the back on all sections. Then just, let's see, try to hold the copy key, not the cap locks key. So shift, drag, okay, and just create a few of them. Don't know how many, uh, but just delete any extras. Okay, next, take one of them. Doesn't really matter which one. Press E, Shift, Rotate. I'm um, actually press A first for angle snap. Shift, Rotate, 90 degrees. Okay, and 
position it, get the roots here, drag them up, and just a reminder, W is move, E is rotate, R is scale, Q is select. Just for anyone who's new here. Okay, three copies, select those copies, bring them over here, mirror on the x-axis, and boom. Next, create a box right here. Increase the height. And just stick it right through there. And I believe that's all the boolean in the morning you need to do. So select this. Compound objects, pro boolean, start picking. And make sure to save your scene right about now. Because booleans can be kind of tricky. And if you screw them up, they will either kill your computer or do other hazardous things. And either way, it's not good. So there we go. Convert to an editable poly. You get a whole mess of stuff. Um, the vent actually looks pretty good. Um, the uh, height here a bit more and let's see if we can't maybe scale these somehow scale local yeah make them a bit thinner and then do the same with these and hope it works no it doesn't Okay, so just do it individually then. Okay, now ProBoolean. Because we weren't getting the um the effect right. It was kinda off. But yeah, this gives it it gives it kinda thickness now. We don't quite have the tabs, but um not many people look at the surface anyway, or the ceiling anyway. So now let's clean this model up a bit. Press cut and just cut along the tops. Um, cut along the bottom. Oops. And cut along the bottom here. And finally, cut here to here. And here to here. What this should allow us to do is select these lines, um, edges, and just backspace. That way it makes our model look a lot nicer. It'll be easy um, on the texturing and all the good stuff that comes. Cut, do the same over here. Remember, just do it to the top face. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, next, let's just go from here straight down. And we should be able to get rid of all of these, hopefully. I got rid of something I didn't want to get rid of. Don't quite know what it was, but it's there again. Okay. <coughs> Lastly, let's do a little cut here. We may run out of time right beforehand. Ooh, that's a problem. Alright, we'll uh, fix that in the next lesson.